the Federal, Federal Bureau of Investigations. Right? You need you need to grab something, bro? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. The uh, in 1967. Now the federal. Now what I need to talk to you about is see. First of all, the the main thing that I I need to be able to get you guys to do. I need you guys to understand that this game of life that we talking, this is chess. It ain't checkers. What I mean by it. Smart moves, I guess. Okay. What else? Fair moves. But you not just think, you have to think. Smart. Like, smart. Wise. Wise. And the right move. Yeah. Stra. Strat. Strategically. Strategically. Uh -huh. Say it again. Strategically. With strategy. But I'm gonna give you this word here. What's the word? I just don't feel like it's good. Intelligence. You want to see, sister? You sure? Mm -hmm. Intelligence. What's intelligence? Brains. Okay. In one context, now let's take it to war. What's intelligence and warfare? What you know about the other side? Mm. Information. There you go. Okay. Now. You have a point, question? You good? Now, Sun Tzu, who wrote The Art of War, he says that all warfare is based upon deception. I disagree. You can't deceive anybody if you don't have information. I say all warfare is based upon intelligence. The, uh, the FBI instituted a program called the Counters Intelligence Program or COINTELPRO. You guys ever heard of this? COINTELPRO was how the FBI was able to break the Black Panther Party, how they were able to break down the SCLC the Nation of Islam, the Republic of New Africa, every group that was doing anything on behalf of black people, and this is how they assassinated people as well. What they did, they, they, they tapped phones, they planted uh, 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 stories in newspapers, they, they did all types of dirty tricks, they infiltrated, what does infiltrate mean? Get inside? Right. They infiltrated the organization. So they got somebody who, like, say, say you got busted. You looking at hard time. Right. They like, listen, we make you a deal. We'll let you slide on this. We just need you to go down here and we need you to sign up and become a member. And whatever you hear, you come back and you let us know. They're right. They're right. They, 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 they threatened him. They said they wanted him to commit suicide. They had all kind of information on him, saying that they had uh, tapes about him with uh, uh, engagements with other women. Said we sending this to your wife right now. Counterintelligence program, COINTELPRO. But I want you to hear what they were saying. Because now remember, we're talking 2,000 years ago, a government program, a government policy to destroy black males. 
5,000 years ago, a government policy to destroy black males. The question is, this is the big question. Why? Because everybody can point at the situation and say what's happening. They can see what's going on. Very few people know why. So they can't do anything about it. Listen to, this is 1967. The purpose of this new counterintelligence endeavor is to... Uh, we, we got we, we to gotta set this up right. Because when we talked about it before, Brother Me, we were talking about the power to define. <coughs> power to define, right? Because we were saying earlier that when your enemy has the opportunity, what, what we say, to the victor goes the spoils. To the victor goes the spoils of war, right? So, if, if I win the war, one of the most important things, because Elijah Muhammad said that of all disciplines, history is best qualified to reward all research, right? So if I win the war, I get to write the history. Okay. Now, the power to define. I'm going to use this definition out of this book. This is on page, this is uh, Guide to Black Man in Truth by Ben Amin. This is the book that made me go to Israel. That's another story. Page 57, it reads, In this spiritual war, there is a creed that says, If freedom is ever to be realized, those freedom fighters who dare to challenge a powerful enemy must be equipped. We were saying this is chestnut checkers. Those freedom fighters who dare to challenge a powerful enemy must be equipped with divine skill and understanding. Skill and understanding. Now, divine. We use it, we, when we when we talk, we may use that word divine. Divine means in, in a manner pleasing unto the Creator. Nothing religious, nothing spooky, in a manner pleasing unto the Creator. Okay? Now, it says that you have to have divine skill and understanding. Skill to know how to confront such an enemy, the understanding to know when and where, and the blessings of God Almighty to undertake the task divinely. Now, this is the definition of the power to define. Power to define. We need to write this so you can see it. Um, power to define. I don't know if I'm cleaning this uh, thing. <laughs> <or I'm> <laughs> <laughs> power to define. Who want to help me right here? You got me? Where? Start from right there. Right here? Yeah, the power to define. The power to define, the ability to... Oh. Huh. The ability? Go ahead. Right. The ability to... Discern. To discern. Discern and the will. Hold it. To discern and... To imprint. The discern. will to discern. what? Interpret. Interpret. Thank you. To interpret what? Elephants. I don't know. Implants. Ideas. Hold on, hold on. Go back. And, and the and ability to discern and the will to interpret and, and implement. That's ideas. the word. Implement. And Did I say philosophy? philosophy. Ideas, philosophies, <laughs> <and reading>. philosophies. <laughs> <laughs> ideas, philosophies, in order to be totally victorious in battle against one's enemy. In order to be totally victorious in battle against one's enemy. In battle against one's 
enemies is the essentiality of, a spir of spiritual warfare, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what it say? Okay. Let's look at this for a minute. Uh, the ability to discern. Help me out. Discern. Use the context. Because one of the things that you guys are going to have to do, because <clears throat> it's millions of words, man. No way you can know all of them. But sometimes what you might have to do is figure out what a word means by the other words around it. That's like, using. That's context. Is, that's context. Okay. Like concern, like mm -hmm. you care about something, like this, just discern. Like concern, discern. Like you don't care about it, or like. It's a little, little bit, little bit. We, we, we close. Bring it in a little more. The ability to discern. So if if I if I toss a problem at you, I want you to run with this. If I toss a problem at you, what's the first thing you do? Don't do it. So no 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 no. I'm I'm you, no. You, if I toss it at you, you gonna care. <laughs> <laughs> True false. True. Okay. So when I toss it at you, first thing you wanna do. You want to get you want you want to knock it out the park, right? You want to knock it out the box. Yeah. True. So, what do you have to do? What's the process? You when I toss the process, when I toss the problem at you, you got to what? Finish it. Understand. You got to finish it. But how you get to finishing it? First thing you got to do is understand it. You got to understand it. What else? Focus. What? Focus. Mm -hmm. uh, like pay attention. All of that. That's discerning. That's the sermon. Because it's not enough to just... See, this is one of the reasons why the leaders that we've lost <coughs> is so important. It's, it hurting us. It's hurting us so bad. We can't even count the cost of what, what we lost when we lost Malcolm. We can't count the cost of that, man. Can you imagine if that man was still alive today? You, you can't even yeah. one man. One man. Mm -hmm. Because he had the ability to make people smarter. He could come in this room and talk to you about calculus, physics, aerospace technology. It don't even matter. He was gonna break it down to everybody in a language that everybody could understand. And by the time he got finished talking to those people in Harlem. Everybody was ready to go down and ask. You know what I'm saying? The ability to discern. He had the he had discernment at a high level. He could take a situation and and read into it and break it down. The ability to discern and the will to interpret and implement. Implement. Who got? It? Implement. Explain. Yeah, what's implement mean? I don't know what implement means. We guessing. We playing a guessing game. We know we're gonna find out eventually, right? I'm. I, that's what I'm here for. To make sure we know, right? Would you say young boy? Input in something. Yeah. Good. There you go. Input in something. Input in something. What? Fighting get yes, some. Not fight, not, in a, but like, not, not as much, but I'm doing that. I'm making, I'm, I, that's me doing that. Huh? Give a strong idea, like, and put yeah. something strong, you back it up, basically. Back it up, yeah. You, 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 you make, you making something happen. Because, you know, it's how you say a thing and, and all of that, but when you, when you, when you lock in on something, you gripping and you, like, you make something happen, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Implement ideas, philosophies in order to be totally victorious in battle against one's enemies. Because it's not a physical battle, even though it's going to be physical. What I mean? What I mean? What I mean? It's not a physical battle, even though it's going to get physical. 
think, man. You gotta know what you do. It's, it's, it's ideas. It's ideas. It's I, I share with you the government policies. I, I'm telling you the programs that it's ideas that's are, that's at war with us. It's philosophies. It's institutions that have been created by men that's breaking us down. So we got to have our own what? Ideas, philosophies, institutions, so that we can implement, so that we can make stuff happen. All we got to do, and that's what we talked about last week. We got, okay, what, what you got? What you got, huh? All right, what you, okay, this is what we got. Let's look at our situation. What we going to do? How we going to make this happen? I need you to make this phone call. I need you to go there. Okay, I'm going to go grab this. I got to get this from the house. I'll be right back. Boom. Now we move it. But we got to be organized, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Our people not organized. That's why we losing, man. We getting our money. We getting our hats handed to us. They kicking our behind, man. <clears throat> I want you to listen because I, sh I share with you the ancient, the ancient ideas, philosophies that they were using to be victorious against. And you know what the greatest one of all is? Divide and conquer. That's what the Willie... The Willie Lynch, uh, where is it at? Right That's what the Willie Lynch paper is about. Right next to the nice council's nice here. Yeah. The Willie Lynch, or the making of a slave. He said, in this document, this guy was a slave owner who was writing this in the 18th century, in the 1700s. He was a master slave manipulator. He was speaking to other slave owners, telling them how to make sure that their plantations were profitable, how they could make money. He said, you turn the young against the old, strong against the weak, and the males, you, you basically had to break them down and intimidate them. He said, if you're success, and what he also said in here was that you would put the women in positions of authority. Break down the man and put the woman in the position of authority. It's still going on today. Mm -hmm. He said, if you're successful in doing this, this will be a, direct quote, a self-orbiting cycle. This will go on forever. But he said, the one thing, the one thing you got to make sure that never happens, make sure these people never get in touch with their history. That's the one thing he said, yes, that their history, he said you had to shave off their history. But if they found out who they were, you couldn't keep them slave anymore. I'm gonna read it to you. This ain't I, I this ain't even the class. I, I got an extra class the in the hole now. Right, right huh? The bottom of it. This is what we were talking about last week. Y'all guys came late. says, we reversed nature by burning and pulling one civilized nigger apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death, all in the woman's presence, okay? By her being left alone, unprotected, you gotta hear this man, by the woman being left alone, unprotected, 
with the male image destroyed. Because you done broke him down. You done beat him in front of her. You done broke him down, kill him, shoot him, whatever. Whatever they want to do. So that the woman knows she don't have any protection. It ain't nothing. You, you on your own, sis. That's why some of the sisters now say, I don't need a man. What they need you for? You know what I'm saying? See, we got to fix this, all of this, you know. By her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed, the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. These women are like, I don't need you. I got my own money. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's the page they want. They so lost. They so, any, any woman who's thinking like that. See, but that's why we gotta be those men. We gotta be men. They don't need no boys. They can't do nothing with no boy. And that's what, I, that's what I was saying before. When we got 30, 40, 50 year old boys that's still playing, you know what I'm saying? Putting all kind of money into these toys in a car or, 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 or a video game at 30, 40, 50 years old and not, not a house, mm. not something in the community, not something to help. You, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It, it has its place. But we men, brother, brother in here, uh, Naeem, my boy, he say men, men build institutions. I saw this clip the other day, Malcolm speaking, he was like, how dare you say that you're equal to the white man? Mm. How dare you? If you can't build a factory like the white man built a factory, ain't you ain't equal. We men. Somebody come talking about, I hate this, I hate this. What the man did. The man. What, what, what man? What man you talking about? <laughs> we men. Whatever, and that's that's the whole point, you man. It's like, okay, whatever, whatever happened with us. Whatever happened with us, we tight, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever happened with us, it's like, okay, this is what went down. Now, what do, what, what do we do? What we going to eat? Any of y'all play chess yet? Okay, okay. Yeah, we're going to get into it a little bit. So, listen to what it say happened to the woman after you didn't show her she don't have any protection. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reverse roles. For fear of the young male's life, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. This sound like anything we, we you know. It's, uh, she making him to depend on her. But he, uh, I do what you're saying, but then I don't. At the same time. She don't want her son to be killed. Yeah. So, she's saying, like, in order. She makes sure you not take care of herself, but. Um, not take care of herself, just survive. Yeah. Say, mentally weak, because it's the intelligence. That's the threat. The intelligence is the threat to the enemy. They don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about that. They buy and sell niggas every day. You 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 see football. What do you think the National Football League is? <laughs> How about that? That's the plantation. Mm -hmm. Slavery. Buy and sell niggas. True or false? That's real. Basketball, baseball, all of them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All of them. They play football knowing, knowing more than likely them knees are shot. You won't be, you won't be crippled mm -hmm. for the for the the few years that you get to play football. What about five, seven? Yeah. If if, if you that, lucky, if, if you right. lucky for seven years, but then the rest of your life, arthritis, yeah. maybe yeah. hip replacement, yeah. all kind of stuff right. like that. Yeah. But we gonna throw some money at you, nigga. Because the one thing about it, and, and I'm telling you, these guys is 6'5", 
six 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 eight, two hundred fifty pounds, three hundred pounds. Right. They, you think they scared of them? Absolutely not. You know why? Because they just entertain. Just entertain. Y'all saw Jane go unchained. Right, we're gonna watch that. Okay. They just they just that's just entertainment. The the adversaries of our people and the adversaries of our community, they always are comfortable with you as a black man as long as you're entertaining them. Dancing, shuffling, <laughs> singing, yeah. throwing a football, throwing a bat. Dunking a basketball, you ain't no threat. But what I'm saying to you, Tyrone, we got to be able to come up in the boardroom. Like, uh, listen, this was the uh, this was the proposal and the projections that we put together on this project. Uh, we have investors lined up to do thus and so. Bang. There's nothing to discuss. It's already a done deal. Business, making things happen. I mean, biggest niggas we want to know. Excuse me, niggas, um, but you know, locked up. How how big and bad is that? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm saying we got to be able to, you know, we. I'm not saying not to be solid. You know, but. Sun Tzu in the Art of War taught that if you could control your enemy's mind, then you could control everything that your enemy has. Okay, we're going we're going to tie this up. Let's talk too long. Y'all all right, man? I hope I'm making some sense. This is what I was saying. He said, continually, through the breaking of uncivilized savage niggers, by throwing the nigger female savage into a frozen psychological state of independence, that's mean like frozen state of psychological independence is like she's stuck. Mm -hmm. Can't figure out what to do. Okay? By killing off the protective male image by creating a submissive, dependent mind of the nigger male savage. In other words, everything that we need, we got to ask somebody else for it. If somebody made them shoes, then somebody somewhere knows how to make shoes. You mean tell me we can't figure out how to make some shoes? Somebody made them pants. Somebody somewhere know how to make some pants. We can't figure out how to make our own pants. Mm. Toothpaste. Mm. Socks. Underwear. We slaves, man. Yeah. We should be doing that. All it is is a needle and three. Nothing. It's nothing, man. Dependent. A submissive, dependent mind of the nigger male savage. This is what I was talking about. He said we have create we have created an orbiting cycle that turns on its, out, on its own axis forever unless unless a phenomenon occurs and reshifts the positions of the female savages. I'm going to tell you what that is. Where is it in here? Okay, here it is. Warning. 
Okay. Warning. You put a warning in here. You said possible interloping negatives. It was like once you get your system set up and it's orbiting all by itself, you know, you got to be careful. Our experts warned us about the possibility of this phenomenon occurring. For they say the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time. If it can touch some substantial original historical base. You hear that? They said that no matter what got messed up about us and our situation and our people, the mind will start to correct and recorrect itself if it could just get in touch with some original historical foundation. They advised us that the best way to deal with this phenomenon is to shave off the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions that each illusion will twirl in its own orbit, something similar to floating balls in a vacuum. Y'all, y'all, y'all familiar with the uh, with the lottery uh, machine? Mm -hmm. Keep them distracted. All types of stuff just going on, so they don't really know that while wow. all this, you know, Soldier Boy. And, uh, and, and Lil Wayne and everybody like that, you know, while that's going on, who's getting the money? Who's still stealing all the resources out of Africa? How come the majority of the, 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 the places of color, they classified as, uh, as third world? Because, now, now how could all of this happen? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna jump right through and we're gonna we're gonna move to close. Man, I appreciate y'all guys uh giving me a few minutes to share this information with you. You know, we got a lot. We got all kinds of stuff. We're gonna take questions, but what I what I'm trying to cause you guys to understand is who you are. Because I put that word up there. Messiah. That's what you guys are. We the deliverers. We the protection for our communities. But if we if we dying in the streets, if we dying in the streets, this is the guy. This is the story right here. This guy was uh, this is him. Got a few things y'all can take with you. We didn't get into it today, or oh, you know, we just bring it back. This is this is the article about the the, uh, the 17 year old uh, young son that they killed down there in Florida. The point the point is this: if this is what keeps happening to the Malcolms to the Moseses, to the deliverers, what's going to happen to our people? All this is going to continue. Give you guys this as well. We're supposed to get into this. This is, this is what the... So I'll give you this to take. You can fold it in half. This is what we were... This is what the class was going to be about the power to define. I think you guys like that. Oh, I don't want to leave you out right there, man. Oh, you can yeah, just leave it up there, bro. I'm gonna, you know, yeah. I'm gonna check it out there. You guys, I got to give you this out of COINTELPRO. Listen, listen to this, please. Mm -hmm. This was out of the counterintelligence program. This is what they said. This is only the second, the second goal of the counterintelligence program. Said, prevent the rise of a black messiah who could unify and electrify 
the militant black nationalist movement. Malcolm X might have been such a messiah. He is the martyr of the movement today. Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael, and Elijah Muhammad all aspire to this position. This was written in 1968. Matter of fact, this, this document, what I'm reading to you right now, was written exactly one month before, one month to the day that they assassinated uh, Martin Luther King. This is uh, January, 30. this is March of 19, March 4th, 1968. He was assassinated on April 4th, 1968, if I'm not mistaken. They said, prevent the rise of a black messiah who could unify and electrify the militant black nationalist movement. Because what I gotta get you guys to understand is the reason why Herod did what he did during that time, the reason why Pharaoh did what he did at that time, the reason why what's happening here at this time is it's about us. Because if we don't play our part and do what we're supposed to do, just is going to stay the way it is. If the politicians could have fixed Chester, and it's politicians in office every year, just to be fixed. Either they can't or they won't. We don't need no, we don't need no politicians to do what we need to do. We'll show you that, we get to it. But I, I really need you guys to get that. That's what I wanna put on your mind is that they're after us, but we, we, we after each other. We, we helping this along. We got a world to build. We don't have time to be down here ducking in alleys and doing, you know. We got to come and we got we to gotta clean house. We got to clean the house on all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm saying to you that whatever you guys are in the mix of right now, we need to talk. We need to talk, man. You know? Y'all guys, y'all gonna have to trust us, me, somebody, because you can win. Either way you go, if, if you're in the mix of it, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Even if you survive, you're gonna lose. Because you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do something that's gonna damage your soul. You ain't never gonna be able to fix that. You might, and, and the, the first rule of nature, the first rule of nature is survival. That's what, but this whole thing that's going on in Chester is fear driven. It ain't a bad nigga in it. It's all fear. I'm gonna get you before you get me. Cause I'm afraid that if you get me first, you know what I'm saying? That's fear. That ain't, you know. And the whole time, somebody's making money off of it. That's the, that's the part that's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. insulting. It's insulting. They make money off of us, and then they got this prison mill, the, the, uh, the, the prison industrial complex. And told you that last time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Making money. The burial, mm -hmm. whole thing. Selling us the guns, selling us the bullets, selling us, the, they making money off of it. And, and, it keeps us down because the, the architects, the engineers, the teachers, the everything that we need to build a strong society, well, we losing that. You know what I mean? Because we losing, we losing us. We can't win. We can't win. Our community cannot be fixed without men in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What you think about what I'm saying? Yeah, we gotta stop doing everything we do. We gotta make it different. We. So you saying 
the things we doing now, we out here in the streets and stuff, we not doing nothing but making them money. Instead of making them money, we gotta go do something. Right. See what we doing, they gonna do it. Now that's that's the other thing. That's the other thing, man. Because they not gonna do what you do. What they gonna do? That's right. They going they out farther because they seen what we do and like just like we seen what the eighteen year olds. That's right. Like we copied them, they gonna see what we did and they gonna do.